What's up, YouTube? It's Aldurial here, coming at you with another video. This time, we're gonna be doing a tier list. So, this is gonna be an early PvP tier list for... Might do a couple of them at once, who knows. But this, in particular, is gonna be an early PvP tier list for... Warcraft Rumble. What are my credentials? Why do I know about early PvP? Well... I'm pretty sure I got to like 1.5k rating with Baron Rivendare without even losing. Now, I get it. He's OP. I know he's OP. He's really good. I even got the wrong talent for him, arguably. But, we're gonna go through this tier list, we're gonna get this shit done, and we're gonna see what truly is and isn't OP. All in all, my win rates- I wish I could see my win rates, I wish I could show you, but they're pretty high. Not to toot my own horn. but. I think I got a pretty good idea of um, generally what is and isn't good in the early game. Now, if you all want information about what, 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 what do I constitute as early game? Well, the matchmaking system right now is fairly fucked. So, um, I would consider early game in Arclight Rumble, oh, the Warcraft Rumble, sorry, renamed, uh, to be below 2,000 for a hero. Above, maybe even below 3,000, so I haven't even re got to the, to the end of the early game. <clears throat> but that's because it takes fucking forever. And I just don't like this game that much. I like it, but I'm not obsessed with it. And it's only been out for three days, so. Um, once you get to above, like, 2k, there's no hidden MMR. You're just winning 30, losing 30 or 50 every time. So, it gets a little grindy. It get ah, sorry. It gets very grindy, very fast. So, to help with that, let's get onto this fucking tier list. So, this is someone's random fucking tier list. We don't care. Baron Rivendare. Straight off. What is Baron Rivendare? He's fucking S tier. He is. That, uh, that, other, uh, that other tier list might have had something going on, okay? Why is Baron Rivendare S tier? Incredibly strong hero. Incredibly strong leader. Uh, we don't really care about the level up bonuses. I mean, that's kind of whatever. Especially since you're the cap. Uh, there's a level cap for your minis below 3,000 anyway. So after 3,000, you know what the best uh, hero is? Your wallet. Take out your wallet and pay for the fucking levels. Brokey. Okay. Amazing talents on Baron Rivendare. Constantly spawn skeletons. This makes it incredibly difficult for your enemy to invest into a kobold into to mine any lane without protecting that kobold. So they instantaneously already have to be sending out defense for that kobold. You're constantly spawning skeletons, constantly pushing shit out. Your kobolds are basically protected all of the time. <clears throat> now granted, there are new situations where your skeletons can actually fuck you over, but most of the time, they're great. Also, he increases the value of an already really great ability, which is summon skeletons. Skeleton party is okay, but I don't think it's that great. Um, however, summon skeletons, super, super strong, especially, oh, we'll get onto it. In all in all, Baron Rivendare, amazing hero. Let's see his talents. One of his talents is called Death Pact. You might have known it if you played any Warcraft game ever. Um, he destroys a nearby skeleton and heals himself. This ability's fucking busted. Guys on like 10, I'm not sh I, I'm pretty sure I've seen him, seen him heal his entire fucking health bar all at once. Hold up. This is so fucking stupid that you have to... Okay. So. These are his talents. Periodically sacrifice a nearby skeleton to be healed. This is busted. I took Chill of the Grave. That might have been a mistake. Although sc constantly summoning skeleton mages from your tower is still pretty good. Nearby allied skeletons gain bloodlust. Also insane. This hero is also going to be crazy at epic rating, in my opinion. Epic rare. He's great everywhere, okay? Early game, mid game, late game PvP. He's amazing in all places. Fucking pure S tier. Blood Mage Thalos! Ugh, oh, I hate to do this. A friend of mine loves playing Blood Mage Thalnos. Um, I love Blood Mage Thalnos too. I don't have him. I really, really want him. But I'm pretty sure he's a total gimmick. <sighs> Maybe he's not a total gimmick. Okay, <clears throat> here's the problem with Blood Mage Thalnos. Spells are good against clumps of enemies. Spells are not good against a singular enemy. So the way you play into Blood Mage Thalnos is, deal with the Thalnos somehow, which there's a lot of responsive spells that can deal with him, like a safe pilot, polymorph into literally anything in the fucking game, execute, 
A lot of people don't run execute, but it is what it is. <laughs> Blood Mage Thanos, I'll say C tier, okay? I could see him working. If you can really get that level going, just stacking those levels, leveling him up. Power, Arcane Blast, one. Fucking uh, sheep that gives you money back. That's only two. Co costs two. Pretty much guarantees Thanos is getting a kill. Blizzard, Chain Lightning. You have all these amazing spells that cost... Uh, not that much. Holy Nova might be good with him too, if it heals undead. I'm pretty sure it does. Anyway, Karen Bloodhoof. Oh man, <clears throat> this is a tough one. I feel like Karen is probably A tier. Let's put him up there. And let's just go over why he might be A or S. Obviously, when, when talking about any mini, you're going to be talking about their talents. After death, resurrected 50% health once. It's pretty nuts. He's just really good at stopping ground pushes. Now, I don't necessarily think Karen is all that tanky. <laughs> uh, once stone expires, affected enemies are dazed for 5 seconds. Eh, it's okay. He's, ju he's just A tier. He's a big, tanky fucking dude. And, whoops. Hold up. His bonus. Your horde troops have 20% increased health. This in and of itself is really good. If you're playing a lot of horde troops... Ah, uh, if your horde troops are uncommon, maybe he's better mid-tier than early PvP. If we're talking... Let's drop him down to B tier. While you still don't have talents, I think Karen's B tier. When you start having some talents, your units get to uncommon, they get to rare, your headhunter starts healing. Is this a head is he called a headhunter? Senjin, whatever, we'll see. He becomes A tier. So let's leave him there. Charlga. Oh fuck. Okay. Let's go over Charlga. Charlga, Charlga, Charlga. There she is. Holy fuck, give me a sec. Okay, I'm recording the video. Hold on, I just had a massive brain fart. The play got... Man, <clears throat> here's the problem. I'm pretty sure Charlga, your minis in hand, share the same cost. What? Good question. I don't even fucking understand what her bonus is, okay? She just... Ci I'm pretty sure she just cycles through the cost of all minis. It's just not that great. I don't know, like, <clears throat> unless you're playing a super expensive deck, you probably don't want to be playing a fully super expensive deck. There's just not <coughs> that many great hyper expensive minis. I mean, I don't know, let's say you play a mountain giant for two. Okay, great. That's that's actually pretty good, but I mean, I don't know. I, I, I just don't think it's enough. You can definitely rush enemies down with Charga, but she her 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 basic attack is amazing. She makes a tower stop attacking. That's insane. Now, once you have the talent, root two additional targets but deal half damage. Still fucking absolutely crazy. Minis for play for five gold, gain a level, and deploy in stealth. <sighs> okay. We'll do it. <coughs> Actually, for early PvP. Chaga's A tier. For late game PvP, once you have her at Epic or or on Rare, I feel like she gets bumped up to S tier. I'm gonna leave her in A tier for now. She's okay. Actually, early PvP, let's be real, she's fucking B tier. General Dracoseth? What the fuck? I haven't even see I haven't seen anyone make Dracoseth work. No one. This hero? Look at this sh what is this shit? I can't even click him. <laughs> I can't even preview his talents because I don't have him. <laughs> okay. Doesn't matter. <clears throat> Dracoset sucks. Okay? Grom. <sighs> Let's go over Grom. So, Grom's ability. All nearby units gain bloodlust. Pretty good. He's pretty strong by himself as well. Let's go over the talents. Gain an AoE blade spin ability that damages all nearby enemies. He is... Incredibly unviable without this. Deal damage damage to enemies who are below 50% health. Yeah, he's okay. God tier. I make him work. Grom S tier. God tier, to be honest. I'll, I'll... I'll believe it when I see it, okay? I don't think he's that great. Grom is going... He's not bad. B tier. Is this Hogger? Man, I haven't even fucking seen Hogger. Is this a secret hero? Isn't he a fucking unit? Why is he up there with the heroes? <laughs> Wait, is this a null brute? Or is this Hogger? Hold on. No, there's the null brute. This is Hogger. Has anyone even seen Hogger? 
Dave tier list. Hawkeye's going into fucking D tier. I haven't even seen him, okay? We don't give a fuck. Unless he's just not available yet. Is he like a secret hero? Man, what the fuck? Hold up. <laughs> what the fuck? What? Huh? Hogger also gains 10% max health each time he is played. On death, bloodlust nearby beast gain poison. This doesn't exist. Is this just gonna be- this is gonna be a tier 2 hero, right? Has anyone seen this? Has anyone played this? Soyless, bitch, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Hogger's going into D. Jaina's getting D for dick, because that's what she's gonna be getting. Okay, no, I'm kidding. Jaina... Ah, she's C tier. Oh my god, do I put Thanos up? I feel like he'd work better than Jaina. Jaina's C tier. She's just not great. I mean, increase the level of spells. Yeah, fucking whatever, man. I mean, spells are situational in the first place. I don't know if you're playing them. Maybe once you get into the the super pay to win part of the game. But for the early game, ah, eh, she's C tier. She's not great. Maiev. Fuck me. <clears throat> Here's the thing. People that say my ev is a gimmick don't fucking know what they're talking about, okay? Let me let me tell you something. For early game. Hold up. This build. This build is fucking broken. You just rush your enemy down, put out your skeleton, put out the skeletons. To okay. Abstracting from the tier list, when you play her correctly with the unbounds, she is fucking crazy. She is so much tempo, so much offensive tempo. If you have your units at the enemy's tower, despite even despite the fact that you cannot place her directly on top of an enemy's tower like you would in single player, she is still absolutely fucking broken. Once you have enveloping shadows, she stealths nearby allies. That is insane. I don't even know how long that lasts for. I don't even have her on fucking uncommon. It doesn't matter. Even without anything, Maiev is crazy. The AoE burst when she pops out of stealth, slaps ass, okay? Periodically teleport to a ranged attacker one hit. This is nuts. This is crazy. Deal double damage for two seconds after killing an enemy. Eh, okay. Yeah. I mean, she's just good. She's just good. Trust. Trust, cuz. Tempo, tempo, tempo. That's all Maiev does. Super, super hard to deal with. And basically, this is like... It's like playing Magic the Gathering without counter spells. That's what this is, okay? Your enemy is playing a super, super fucking aggressive deck, and they're just burning you down, and you can do absolutely nothing. Once you commit your gold somewhere, Maiev is going to start throwing unbound units at your base. All you do is you push with the Gargoyle, you protect it somehow. Once it's at the enemy's base, you throw all these things out, and you just finish the game in like 20 seconds. Trust me, she is fucking insane. <clears throat> Old Murkai. <coughs> I'm an old Murkai believer, okay? Old Murkai is amazing. Listen. For five seconds after deploying summon a Murloc Tidehunter for each gold spent on other minis. This boy cra straight up crazy, alright? Tidehunter spawned at Old Murkai's location. March of the Murlocs lasts an additional five seconds. Eh, this might be better. Attacks briefly stun enemies. Tidehunters spawn at Old Murkai's location instead. <sighs> Fuck, I don't even know if you would want this. I would grab the attacks briefly stun enemies thing. Because the good thing about Murkai is the random spawning of the Tide Hunters into all the different lanes actually gives him a lot of pressure when he has his big goes. The problem is that you actually have to have those big goes. I hate to do this. I'm putting old Murkai into A tier, but in my heart, he's S. Okay? Uh. <clears throat> Is this Rend? Rend Blackhand. Jesus Christ, they made his face really fucked up in this. Alright, boys. <coughs> there are certain decks that just cannot deal with Rend. Rend is kind of like... <laughs> he's the deck list... He's the de deck list check, okay? If your enemy doesn't have enough fucking uh, anti-flying and enough range, you just win the game. You're play obviously when you're playing Rend, you're playing the Drake, you're playing the fucking Gargoyle, you're playing the Harpies, you're playing all the fucking stupid range shit. You're probably playing the skeletons to take the 
tank the boxes, but let's get real. You're playing rank Rend? It's all about the fucking flying minis. <clears throat> he's going into A tier. Ah, fuck. He's going into B tier. I'm not going to put Rend into A tier when Shaw goes in B. Let's get real. He's all right. He's nothing great. If your enemy has anti-air, <laughs> it just fucks you. Sneed. God. Sneed. Okay. Sneed. Gain two gold when a siege damage unit destroys a tower, captures a meeting stone, or opens a chest. Eh. Okay. <clears throat> Wargs, warg riders, are very good chest openers. They're fast. They get there fast. They can capture the chest super fast. They can test the wolf. They can test everything. Much faster than the Defias Pillager. They fuck the Defias Pillager. He's... <laughs> He's C tier. He's C tier. Let's, let's get real. He's C tier. I haven't seen anyone... I haven't seen any single person play Sneed properly against me, okay? Hey, maybe I'm just too good. That's possible. <laughs> but for real, Sneed, C Need, okay? He's staying in fucking C tier. Let's just, <coughs> let's just miss Sylvanas for a sec. Tyrion, god fucking damn. This is not because I'm a paladin main in WoW, I promise. Tyrion is fucking broken. He is crazy. The best way to deal with Tyrion is to have a banshee to fucking take him over. Jesus Christ. If you have a good frontline with Tyrion, he is tanking damage for days. Tyrion plus footman unanswered equals end of game, okay? His healing in an AoE is insane. Consecrate makes him able to deal with AoE threats. Which, by the way, if you're playing with Tyrion and you get him into Uncommon, Consecrate is what you have to get, pretty much. This hero is fucking Garbanzo without Consecrate. But I feel like it's still early PvP if you have Uncommons, okay? <laughs> so this will apply. Now, the thing is, early game, mid game, and late game PvP, I feel like... When you have Tyrion on Uncommon, Rare, or Epic, he is fucking insane. Divine Shield, crazy ability. Consecrate, crazy ability. By the Light, heal the primary target for twice as much. The primary target healing isn't... It's okay. It's not that strong. But once you get this, it becomes absolutely fucking crazy. You're healing so much for the primary target, which is obviously the person that's going to be taking the most damage. And you're also healing so much in an AoE. Tyrion, absolute, absolute fucking S tier, no doubt about it. Okay, Right, I'm just gonna blow my nose before we get to this next one, boys. Sylvanas is an S tier. Okay? Probably the best hero in the game. I don't have her. I have played against her. Here's the thing. The way you deal with Sylvanas, I don't even know if a ban Banshee works against her, okay? Her range is so absurdly big. Hold up. This is the only way I can spectate, <laughs> I can check her out, okay? Ability. All undead and horde minis gain 30% movement speed near Sylvanas. Super good when you're pushing with a gargoyle. Sylvanas plus gargoyle, you're fucked, okay? Perfect 10 mana combo. Insane. You lose a lot of tempo everywhere else, doesn't matter. Sylvanas answers nearly every single threat. I'm not sure if the safe pilot is meant to, is able to kill her. I cannot remember the da the, the actual da how the damage actually works when they're both at the same level. However, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure if the safe pilot has that um, stealth on deployment thing, it's able to deal with Sylvanas, obviously because it gets the shot off. However, <clears throat> even abstracting from that, she is just fucking crazy. So, probably the longest range in the game. I'm not sure with, uh, you know, the extra range talents on certain things. However, her range is absolutely crazy. Once you have Black Arrow, which, let's get real, if you have Sylvanas, it's because you've bought the fucking... You've bought the fucking bundle, okay? I know. I know you have. Black Arrow is probably... Probably the most insane talent in the entire game. Pierce through enemies in a line dealing elemental damage. You're ignoring armor, for one. You have the range of a sniper. 
and you're dealing your damage in a massive fucking laser-like line. Okay? Banshee's Whale, Scream on Death, stunning nearby enemies for three seconds. When Sylvanas dies, she she turns into a Banshee and she captures, she essentially captures her killer. So you can't swarm her down. You need a strong single target killer. Well, guess what? She just takes it over after she dies. Congrats. She costs a lot, but she's absolutely worth the cost. Nearby Horde and Undead minis gain fury. Great, if you're pushing with your Gargoyle, you're gonna kill your fucking enemy even faster. You're a piece of shit if you play this hero. Fuck you. I'm so gonna be playing her when I actually get her. Anyway. <clears throat> on to the next thing. Stitches or Abomination. Fucking D tier. Let's get real, it's way too expensive. Maybe once you get the AoE Plague Rod or whatever. Chickens. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay? The chickens are D tier. They're trash. Uh, Arcane Blast. It's going right there with with uh, Thalmos. I feel like he's the only person that can make him work. Banshee. S tier. Situationally, one of the best unit units. Your enemy has a huge go. They're trying to make a push happen, ba usually based around some sort of one single pusher, such as a Huntress, such as a <clears throat> such as a Gargoyle. What's a great way to do that? Just turn it into your own threat. Run a Banshee, take it over. Great. Batrider. Eh. He's... He's okay. Now, obviously, flying flying minis... The thing with flying minis is they're just pretty good because they're flying. <laughs> so only certain minis can hit them. But it doesn't hit rain. It doesn't hit air. It only hits ground. It decimates ground. But it's going in B tier. If your enemy has a massive tanker, they probably won't care that much that a Batrider is hitting them. Blizzard. Jesus. This is, by the way, the, um, the tiers are not placed. If it's an S tier, it's an S tier, okay? Just because Sylvanas is first doesn't mean she's any better than any of these. Except, well, it does. But the rest of them, they're interchangeable, okay? Blizzard S tier, absolute fucking banger of a spell. Freeze enemies in place once you get one of the one of the one of the talents. It's nuts. Chain lightning, eh, it's going in B tier. It's not that bad. Cheat death. I've never seen anyone use this. It could be good. Eh, very situational. Maybe C tier. Ah, it's probably D tier. What the fuck is that? Is this the molten giant? Hold on, I'm looking through all the other shit. This is the molten giant, right? Eh, Molten Giant. Uh, I've seen him being used in some Charlga decks. Maybe that makes him C tier. This is the Black Iron Miner, right? The thing is, as of right now, we've only seen one single map. As of right now, the Black Iron Miner is absolutely not worth it. It's another thing. I, I think once you have the Black Iron Miner... Here's the problem. When you have the Black Iron Miner in your deck that is a piece of useless card that you have to cycle through now granted you can steal your enemy's gold probably yes however you're paying one extra gold for the black iron miner so you already have to mine one gold to get the initial cost back of deploying a kobold also the kobold is already in your deck anyway so now you have Kind of two useless things. Now, unless you want to cycle super fast, he's just not really worth it. Senjin Ed Anta, right? Or is it just Headhunter? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Dark Spear Troll, yeah, as I said. Dark Spear Troll? For early game PvP? Really, really solid unit. Regenerates 20 health per second? Really good later game. All in all, I'm placing the... Uh, the Dark Spear Troll in A tier, where it fucking belongs. This looks like Anixia, but I am assuming this is the Black Drake. Correct? No, wait, that's the Black Drake. What the fuck is this? Is this Anixia? Real I don't know what that is. D tier. Defias Pillagers. A lot of people swear by these motherfuckers. They gain plus two. When, when you have a talent, they gain plus two gold on opening a treasure. Ugh. They kill the treasures really, really really slowly okay fine we'll put them in b tier they have their uses that's for sure they're constantly in stealth and they stun the first thing that okay fuck it they are a tier okay fine fine i don't use them but they're good they cost one they cycle they're super good in a lot of decks even if you don't need them 
toss them out, no one gives a fuck. Um, and usually they can deal with a threat or two. They can help set up a lot of stuff. Alright, they're A tier. <clears throat> Black Drake, C tier. Okay, maybe B tier. It's expensive, it has a short range, however, it does deal a lot of damage. And, and it's, it's definitely a very, very good AoE clearer. It also hits air, which is good. Where is this boy? <clears throat> there he is. Periodically summon a well peg. Perch on top of a nearby tower is staying there to defend it. I haven't seen these, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Damaging enemies burns them? This seems like Roost could be very good. Does he ever leave? I don't know. <laughs> Earth Elemental. I'm sorry. D. Dumpster. Shit card. Ah! I mean, maybe in some unbound decks with my Ev. Maybe. Execute? <sighs> I'm gonna be real, I have not seen anybody play this card. Now, maybe in some er mid-game, late-game PvP, this card is actually good. I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt. I could see it being good. I don't think it is good. Flame Elemental. <laughs> Another C tier card. Maybe B tier, maybe C tier. Ah, there's just better options. There's just better options for tanks. Now granted, this is just kind of a rock, paper, scissors thing. However, let's check it out. On death, summon a pool of lava, damaging enemies within. Molten Core is fucking busted. This is really, really strong. Eventually, once you get there. Immolation Aura. Ah, okay. <clears throat> Let's put him up to B tier. Let's get real. <coughs> this is the hammer throwy gal, right? Eh. I can see her being useful. Don't really see her played ever. I think she's D tier. Maybe C tier. Well, let's put her into C tier. Flame Waker. Really good against ground pushes, however, doesn't hit air and is overall pretty expensive with a pretty short range and is super squishy. I'd say high C tier, nearly B tier, okay? Nearly B tier. Footman, in my opinion, A tier tanks. Huge potential, pairs pair really well with Tyrion. Um, just an overall really strong unit and they have a stun, multiple stuns. So, just a very, very good unit. Gargoyle, fuck this unit. If this unit doesn't get nerfed, I don't know what the fuck the devs are doing. Way too much health. Way too much damage on your tower. All of this combined makes for an extremely, extremely annoying unit to fight against. Ghoul. Let's check the ghoul out. Where is this boy? I think the undead are somewhere down here. Whoops. Info. Cannibalizing Grant's armor, cannibalizing Grant's bloodlust. Yeah. Ghoul's okay. I think he's a C tier tank. High C tier. Nearly B tier. Like the Flame Waker. Yeah. Null Brute. Don't see anyone play this. D tier. Goblin Sappers. A lot of people are sleeping on the Sappers. They could be really good. Low B tier, C tier. Griffin Rider, in my opinion. One of the stronger units in the game. Super cheap, super versatile, pretty fast, good range, especially with the uh, uncommon talent, or just talent. Overall, really good. What the fuck is this? Is this another Banshee? Am I on crack? Jesus, we're gonna leave that down there. Harvest Watcher. Eh. In terms of damage, I don't really see this doing anything. Ever. What are- what even are its talents? I have not seen anyone play this against me extensively. <coughs> On death, stun nearby enemies for 3 seconds. On death, spawn 4 angry chickens. On death, apply a heal over time. Effect to nearby allies. This could be good. And he does die twice. So that's 8 angry chickens. Low B tier? C tier? Eh, let's put him there. Holy Nova. Holy Nova, <laughs> I don't see anyone playing to Holy Nova, I'm gonna be honest. I like Holy Nova, but it's Garbanzo. Ah, maybe it's not Garbanzo, it's not that great. Kobold, I mean, it's in every deck, S tier. <laughs> Huntress, I mean, it's in every deck, S tier. Alright, let's have a look at the Huntress. This is probably the most broken unit in the game right now. One of the only counters to Sylvanas. 
tanky enough to fight her. S and sexy. Yeah, exactly. Her talents, absolutely broken. Once you have... She's crazy on uncommon, she's crazy on rare, and she's crazy on epic. Early, mid, and late game PvP, this unit is fucking broken. Too much damage, too much health, too versatile. Stealth and ambush, I got really lucky, I got shadow meld. Um, super fast, didn't even have to hunt for, it, hunt for it very long. This unit is busted. Alright, level it up if you can. Trust me, you're gonna thank me, okay? Huntress is fucking broken. And they probably will ner nerf her. Living Bomb. Never even seen anyone play it once. Way too expensive for a spell. Insane clear. If your enemy has units clumped, bam, they're fucking gone. Why play Living Bomb when you can just play Blizzard for four less? And it basically does the same thing. Let's get real. Also, it stalls. So you're pushing an enemy. You're pushing enemy base. You put down bl Blizzard. Freezes the enemies. They can't do shit. <clears throat> Meat wagon. Wow, it's really good for PVE. This isn't a PVE playlist. It's PVP. Molten Giant. Some people say it's okay with some Chalga list. Personally, I haven't seen it work. It's day three. Show me the build. Eh, it's alright. Mountaineer. <clears throat> Way too expensive, especially for early game PvP. Murloc Tidehunters. Low B tier, C tier. But they can work, especially in some cycle decks. And cycle decks, they are strong. Necromancer. <clears throat> oh man. Uh, maybe Murloc Tidehunters... I feel like they might be A tier. B tier, maybe A tier, in my opinion. Fuck, where'd I put the Necro? Okay, there he is. Personally, I would put the Necromancer. Ah, he's B tier. Maybe even C tier. He's B tier. He's B tier. Ogre Magi. Now, here's the problem with this unit. It's really expensive. But when you actually examine its stats, I feel like it's really good. Potentially in a Gromash deck or a Cairn deck, this unit kind of slaps. It bloodlusts nearby units, it does AoE damage, it has good range. Let's check out its talents. <clears throat> there he is. So, gain Frost, burns enemy targets, gain Bloodlust when bloodlusting an ally. That's pretty good. Orgrim Magi has huge potential, in my opinion. He might just be a little bit too expensive. Ah, uh, high C tier, B tier? Ah, uh, around there. You know? C plus tier. Rot Farmer, or Rot Farmer Bomber. Never seen anyone play it. Not on this map, not in this meta, okay? I can see some crazy potential for him with Overwatch. Okay, no, he's not in D tier, let's get real. <coughs> High C tier, B tier, he's a 2 drop. I don't think any 2 drop can be in D tier. Except the Black Iron Miner, he sucks. Alright, Polymorph. S tier spell, fucking nuts. Stops Sylvanas, stops the Gargoyle. Pretty sure it strips armor off people, makes them super easy to kill. Insane spell. Basically no delay. When you're playing Polymorph, you can play it offensively, you can play it defensively. Play it to win any engagement. Fucks your enemies super hard. Bait your enemies into committing to defending something. They think they have an advantage. They're like, ah, usually this trades really well. Guess what? You're a fucking sheep. It doesn't trade at all. You're fucking dead. You just lost the game. The amount of times Polymorph has won me the game is more than I can count. And that's saying something. I can count pretty high, okay? Trust me. Next one. Polymorph is insane, in case I haven't said it enough. Is this the Worgen? What is this furry shit? <clears throat> no, that's the Worgen. Oh, that's the wolf. Wolf? Yo. <clears throat> I'm gonna be real. Let's show the wolf. <coughs> wolf. Gain stealth and stun the target when attacking from stealth. Insane. On the prowl? Crazy. Grants nearby beast allies 30% additional damage. I haven't even seen this. Deal double damage to enemy score at more than 75% health. Who cares? On the Prowl is fucking insane. Wolf is crazy. Trades really well into a lot of stuff. Can clear some things. In my opinion, Wolf is an S tier. Super, super good at contesting chests. Costs only three. Is a beast. Hey. Black Rock Pyromancer. In my opinion, in early PvP, Black Rock Pyromancer is either super high S, A tier, or it's S tier. Maybe, okay, it's not quite S tier. 
it is A tier. It is a really, 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 really strong unit. <clears throat> Quillbore. Haven't seen anyone use this. The stats are pretty good. It doesn't trade that well into anything realistically, in my opinion. B tier, maybe C tier. <coughs> Raptors. Never seen anyone use this. They have a lot of potential. They're going into D tier. Safe pilot. Ooh! Safe pilot is basically a spell. Let's get real. It's got a bit of a a bit of a learning curve, but once you get around to using it, once you get familiar with it, it's one of the best fucking minis in the game. Absolute S tier material. Frostwolf Shaman, barely see anyone using this. Early game PvP, I don't think it really holds up. Once you get the talents for it, maybe mid game, late game PvP, yeah, I can see this working really well. But it needs a lot of investment to be viable. I think it's going into D tier. D tier, okay, low C tier. <clears throat> Skeleton Party. There is a list with my Ev that makes this incredibly good. I think it's already pretty good. High B tier. Skeletons. Absolute S tier. Offensive contesting of chests. I just burped while I was saying that. Skeletons are fucking nuts. You can do some crazy shit with skeletons. Tanking random stuff, tanking shots, putting it down just to catch your enemy off guard, <clears throat> win an engagement you weren't supposed to win, push for some extra damage to make a trade favorable towards you, but most of all, when I play Baron Rivendare, I'm putting down those fucking skeletons, <clears throat> especially on the Alterac Valley map. Let's just, let's just put that out there, okay? Week one. Alterac Valley, you open the game, if you have skeletons in your hand, boy, it's over, okay? Skeletons on the enemy chest, put out your own Baron, he's taking the chest, they're slowing them down. By the time that they have killed your skeletons, or maybe they haven't even reacted fast enough or gotten the mini down to their chest fast enough, then you've taken their chest. The skeletons have already paid for themselves, they're already getting you tempo out on the map. Even more important than you getting the gold is that you're denying your enemy the gold. It's not a gain, it's not a net gain of two gold. It's a net gain of four gold, okay? That's what it is. Math. <clears throat> Smoke bomb. Okay. A tier. Let's get real. People are sleeping on smoke bomb. It is nuts shit. Okay? Maybe even S tier. Maybe even S tier. Gargoyle plus smoke bomb equals you're having a bad time, okay? Because if you can't see that gargoyle heading for your base <clears throat> and your furies or whatever you've deployed just kind of run past him when they were deployed to kill him, you're fucked. And it's only one mana. You just cycle through it. <clears throat> and usually, you'll kind of need stuff. You kind of want stuff for some stuff. Even if you have something your units can't deal with, maybe you want to get some extra range, you want to get them a bit further along to deal with a certain threat that's been deployed to deal with your squad, or with another unit, maybe you just want to get it past some danger, put down a smoke bomb, and you're golden. What are the spiders? Spiderlings? Fucking D tier. Never see this shit being played. Stonehoof Tauren, pretty good stats, pretty good overall. Eh, C tier, high C tier, maybe B tier. Um... <clears throat> Okay, I mean, if the Molten Giant is in B tier, uh, but that's in there because of Charlga. C tier, B tier, change my mind. Vultures, eh, fucking D tier. Maybe it's good when, you're, when your enemy's playing chickens. Warsong Grunts, D tier. Too expensive, don't do anything, nothing special. Warsong Rider. <clears throat> if your enemy isn't paying attention to a Warsong Rider, it is pretty nuts. It can also work really well in a Sneed deck, technically because it's a, I think technically it counts as a Siege unit. Um, B tier, I would say. Good for contesting chests, fast, does okay damage, has okay health, benefits from a lot of horde buffs, overall good in a horde family deck. Rookery Whelps, <coughs> S tier, fucking busted. Once you have that thing that damages out enemies nearby, ugh, fucking disgusting. I don't know what this Banshee is, I thought we already did Banshee. Um, Worgen, never see anyone use this, C tier. Okay, maybe... Maybe it has potential to be B tier. And that's it, boys. That's the tier list. Hold on. We're gonna look through our... We're gonna look through our collection. Am I schizophrenic? Am I just sleeping on something? There's only one Banshee in the game, right? <clears throat> yeah. 
thank you for watching. That is the C tier for early game PvP. I don't have experience with mid game and late game PvP, so I can't make a tier list on that. But once I get there, I'll make one. Thank you very much for watching. And as an additional caveat, um, what is the tier list for PvE? I might make one, but overall, the campaign is so fucking obscenely varied. Uh, it just kind of depends on the level. But, overall, I think this list still applies. Polymorph, Blizzard, Banshee, Tyrion, I have all this shit. If you can cheese a level, do it. The campaign is gonna fuck you really hard. Certain levels are super, super, super fucking hard. If you play the game enough, you're gonna find out. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if this video helped you out. If you don't agree with me on some shit, hey, cry in the comments. I want to hear all about it. Let's argue in the comments about what shit is good and what shit isn't. Thank you very much. Take care.